hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i will be talking about many economic scene of a mafia led as cbn governor if you are new to this channel you are very much welcome please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell icon so as to get notified on time whenever a new video is published without wasting any more time let's proceed <laughs> President Bola Tinubu, in his recent trip to Paris at France, described Nigeria financial system under the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele, as rotten. He cited Gagaton difficulty in the flow of forex in and out of the country, saying that the difficulty enriched a few. The financial system was rotten. Few people were making away with our money, but that is over now. The man in Mefiele is in the hand of the authority, he said. President Tinubu comments come exactly two weeks after he suspended the former CBN chief to pave way for the investigation into the many anomalies that pervaded the bank under the tenure of Mefiele. President Tinubu's comment in Paris regarding the financial system under Mefiele, he went further. Sanusi himself, a former governor of Central Bank, lamented the practice whereby some Nigeria businessmen and political figures obtained dollar at official rates only to resell at a higher rate at the parallel market. We have created our own billionaire since 2015 from the forest exchange subsidy, he said in a speech at the 15th Joint National Council on Development Planning Meeting held in Kano. They got the dollar at 197 and priced their goods at 300 naira. He said in his speech titled, Nigeria, the search for new growth model. For instance, when the CBN was selling dollar at 197 and people were buying at 300 naira. If I sit down in my garden and pick up my phone, I will have enough people to call in the industry to get $10 million at official rate and sell at 300 and make a profit of over $1 billion. And if I do that four times in a year for doing nothing, I would have earned $4 billion. Nearer. And people were telling us that this policy was to help the poor. We should not devalue because if we do, the poor people will suffer. People that were profiting from this were the ones telling the government that if you devalue, people would suffer. Meanwhile, they all got their dollar at 197 and priced their goods at 300 naira. The poor paid the price of the devalue currency and the risk skimmed up the profit. And it went on for one year and we talk and talk and talk. If the present administration continued to behave the way the immediate past government behaved, we will end up where Jonathan ended. You may not like it, but this is the truth. He added that one need not to be an economist to know that any system that allows someone to make one billion naira profit through a phone call without investing in Kobo is a wrong system and not sustainable. He pointed out that the economic aspect of the whole thing for every one billion dollar that was taken from the Federation account. He also said Emefiele also failed to manage Nigeria inflation. He inherited a single-digit inflation rate. And by the time it was suspended, the country had a double-digit inflation rate. When Emefiele came on board in 2014, the Naira issued by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and in economy circulation was less than 1.5 trillion Naira. In fact, in December 2015, just about a year to Emefiele governorship of the CBN, the Naira in circulation was 1.46 trillion. Seven years later, in September 2022, this amount more than doubled to 3.23 trillion Naira. To worsen the situation, 2.73 trillion of the 2.23 trillion in circulation was outside the banking system. 84.52% of the supplied money was not under its control. It was during the enforcement of the new Naira redesign and cashless policy that we were told that one of the aim was to up up the 2.73 trillion Naira outside the control of banking system. By then, a lot of harm had been done to the economy. 
A met earlier conduct at CBN can be correctly described as economic sabotage of the nation. The NERA redesign program was another sin and an undeserved punishment that Imefiele committed against the Nigerian people. The policy was so poorly executed that Nigeria were dying in hospital because they could not access their cash. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a super thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do so. Turn on the notification bell icon so as to get notified on time whenever a new video is published. This is Light News Media. I will see you in the next video.